Hey you guys, so as you can tell by the title, this isn't a typical video I usually do, but I did want to try it out and maybe get some feedback on whether it should be a series or not on the channel. It wouldn't affect the main schedule of the channel so far, which is every Wednesday and Sunday. These videos would just be strictly either on Fridays or whenever it'd be more convenient, so they'd basically just be extra videos to go along with the ones that are scheduled throughout the week. So yeah, just let me know what you think. And without further ado, let's just begin. So for this video, as you can tell, we're playing Duel Links and the current event going on right now is the Toon World event where we're playing against Pegasus first by accumulating star chips that we get from people in the world and spending these star chips in order to fight Pegasus himself. So naturally, as you can tell by the levels, each tier requires more star chips than the previous one, but the point multiplier at the end also increases as well. So naturally, the highest difficulty gives the best in return. So I'm just going to do a run through of a duel with him. First, I'll showcase the deck I'm using to play against him. He's not too difficult generally. So right now I'm focusing on leveling up Rex Raptor so that can kind of give you an idea that the deck doesn't have to be specific to any character in order to beat Pegasus. Um, currently the one I'm focusing on right now is just basically beat down 1600 or higher four stars if you are able to get them. I found that the two easiest themes to build around are machine monsters and dark monsters. As you can see right now I'm building around machine monsters with Machine King um, the Proto Machine King and a few others. As you can tell, this deck is primarily based around Earth Monsters with some standard staples that I've found to be really helpful like Yomi Ship, of course. Um, Naturia Strawberry is actually a pretty decent uh, four-star card. Shard of Greed, extremely helpful. Some standard equip spell cards and these two traps are the only ones I find kind of necessary in the event that something strong actually appears. But I'll also show you some other builds I use to beat Pegasus. So for the Bandit Keith deck, machine types, um, this guy is really helpful and he's dark so you could use sort of dark destruction as well as um, this is a really good 6 star monster 1 tribute. I uh, just Colossus and another character I used was Weevil since I was in the process of leveling him up as well. So yeah, pretty much the same, um, just machine based, strawberries helps a lot. Scalangel and Yomi Ship are decent staples to use. So yeah, but if you do want to focus on one character whose ability is actually helpful, I do suggest using Bandit Keats Switcheroo since you can just, you know, switch a card from your hand back into your deck and draw a different card twice per duel. So yeah, that's the most helpful ability in case you want to be safe and play with a specific character. But for this walkthrough, I'm gonna try to use Rex Raptor and yeah, I'll just show you guys. Might as well. All right. <laughs> I like how their interactions are specific to each character. That just makes it more funny. <laughs> I'm Rex Raptor. I pummeled the competition to finish second. <laughs> Rex Tractor. Oh my gosh. Rex Rapper. <laughs> okay. So I'm going first, and with Pegasus he gets Toon World for free, because that's his ability. <laughs> Alright, so I had a decent hand, I got Yomi Ship, Shard of Greed, Overdrive, Gravity Axe, Squirrel. So what I'm going to do, obviously play Shard of Greed first, and I'm going to play Overdrive in Attack Mode because with his Toon Monsters, he doesn't attack your monsters since they have the ability to attack directly so you basically you don't have to worry about um, losing any monsters. Alright, you're sort of deep seated so what I'm gonna do, I guess I'll set Yomi Ship in preparation. Since both these equips uh, add 500, I'll just use that one to equip onto Overdrive. So he's got 2100, this is probably Toon Cannon Soldier. Yes. I mean Mass Soldier, my bad. Okay. Mitrazuri is one trap card he likes to use to destroy something when you attack him first. Okay, so that's the end of my turn. Oh. 
Yeah, one thing pesky about these tunes is you could special summon like as much as possible. Alright, so I'm gonna activate Shot of Greed. Okay, so I freaking just added this since Dennis Rokino's in here, but yeah, might as well. It's a 1600 beef stick. So since I don't have anything that can overrun the Team Gemini Elf, actually I want to save that. I'm going to save the seal for when he summons Toon Summon Skull because that's pretty much the biggest monster he has. So right now, I guess I'll buff up the Tractodon. And I'm hoping he doesn't have like a stupid trap card. Okay, thank god. Alright, so far, it's going pretty well. Okay, Goblin Attack Force is annoying. Uh. Oh, when they do have to attack, um, Pegasus has to pay 500 life points. I almost forgot. Okay, Yomisha takes care of that. Alright, I drew Machine King Prototype, which will be summoned. And to take care of Goblin Attack Force, I'm gonna use Enemy Controller which changes its battle position. Alright, and now I'm going to try to inflict as much damage as possible, so attack with that, and then attack him directly with Trachodon. Okay. So yeah, as you can see, you basically just need like a decent beatdown deck. Um, and then a few traps in the event that he does attack. He didn't summon Toon Summon Skull. Oh, uh, this is the field spell that he plays, which, um, let's just take a look at it. So, plus 300 attack to his monsters during his turn, and plus 300 defense to his monsters during your turn. So, yeah, just another buff. So, right now, I'm gonna try to finish this duel quickly. So,. I'm going to use the seal on Toon Goblin Attack Force to weaken it, summon Milus Radiant. And that should be enough to take care of... Yeah, that should be enough. Alright. Okay. Alright. Level up. So yeah, like I said before, you just basically need a decent beatdown deck, which I find works best when built around machine types or dark types. If you have better cards than I do, then definitely use that. Especially with the new fire box that came out just a couple days ago. I might do a pack opening of that in the future too. Also, if you guys tried anything different, uh, feel free to let me know. Just comment down below what you guys did to beat Pegasus. I know there's a bunch of different ways, like getting rid of Tomb World. That's why I put a twister in here. But yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. Once again, um, if you're a older subscriber, just let me know how you think about videos based on this game. It shouldn't affect the current schedule I'm doing right now, Wednesdays and Sundays. It's basically extra videos um, just whenever, when it's frequent. So yeah, once again, let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Peace, and I'll see you guys next time. Alright, bye.